job. If you're trying to be a musician and quit your day job, you need to get on an editorial playlist. What's good, people? It's your Gilzo coming back at you with another video. Today, I'm going to talk about Spotify for artists. And there's also an Apple Music for artists, so I'm going to touch on it, but it's not as cool. Definitely do both. But Spotify for Artists is more important. If you're not on Spotify yet, check out my video on why you should be on Spotify and get off of SoundCloud. And then once you're done with that, check out my video as to how you can get 47% off your first purchase for DistroKid to get you on Spotify. Let's get into the video. So when you're on your DistroKid dashboard, there's a little settings icon right up here. And if you come into the settings all the way on the bottom, there's a Spotify for Artists and an Apple Music for Artists. The Spotify for Artists link is right here. It should forward you over. You can pick whichever artist you're going to use. Once you get access, it will forward you over. I've already done it, so this is the screen that pops up for me. I got access to my Spotify for Artists immediately when you go through the settings and click Spotify for Artists. Otherwise, if you use a different distributor, uh, you can go to the Spotify for Artists website directly and do it that way, but it might take a few days. So I highly recommend doing it this way. Spotify for Artists is the greatest tool and tactic and oh, just everything about Spotify for Artists just gets me going, man. I love this stuff. Apple Music, you need to catch up, okay? Apple Music for Artists is just not at the same level as Spotify for Artists. They really need to get their stuff together because come on, man. You're not, no. Anyway, one, editorial playlist. There are so many videos and blog posts and articles. There is so much regarding editorial playlists and how an editorial playlist can get you from here to here, okay? That is what's gonna get you to quit your day job. If you're trying to be a musician and quit your day job, you need to get on an editorial playlist. If you're listening to this and you haven't even like thought about getting on an editorial playlist yet, you're wasting your time and you need to start focusing all your energy on that. I'm talking to you. You know who you are. Get on those playlists and quit screwing around, okay? Seriously, get the money, get paid, quit your day job, and live your life. And then share with the community, okay? Seriously. Anyway, the second most important tool is being able to see your live statistics. This will allow you to see where your weaknesses and flaws are. If you're looking at your charts and it says all of your views are coming from your profile, well, that means not a lot of people are saving your music and you need to get them to save your music other way around. If all your views and listens are coming from people's own library, that means you're not sending your link out enough and you need to get people to actually discover you too. And you need to balance all this stuff. If you have a bunch of views in Los Angeles, that doesn't mean Los Angeles is your most popular city. That means you need to start spending more time you know, marketing to Seattle or Chicago, okay? Don't spend all your time doing what's going well. Like, yeah, you know, don't waste it. If you're doing well in Seattle, Keep pushing Seattle, but don't skimp out on LA. If you're doing well in LA, don't skip out on Chicago, okay? Like, balance everything and try to figure out why it's like that. Now, there are a bunch of tools and tricks, and I'm gonna link another video on how to use all these tools and tricks of Spotify to really start to get an understanding about other artists and how to get to where they are. And I'm gonna end this with one of the biggest tools in that video, please please utilize the desktop features of Spotify for Artists. You have to go on a computer and then go to Spotify for Artists. It's not on the mobile app. I don't know why. If Spotify, if you're listening, please put this on the mobile app. I don't know why you don't have it yet. There is a comparison tool. It looks like this. And you can use that comparison tool to type in an other artist's name and compare your statistics with their statistics and you can see where their growth is compared to your growth. Funny thing about this is that I learned that every single major league artist, like every A-list artist, if you look at their Spotify, it dips every Sunday. Every Sunday, their, their stuff just goes down. I don't know what it is, but people just don't listen to music as much on Sunday that they do throughout the rest of the week. It's just the least music day. So if you're looking at your own statistics and you're like, wow, Sunday's really, you know, it's just not doing as hot. Don't worry about it. It's happening to everybody, apparently. So you can start to learn little trends like that and learn little like tips and tricks and tactics and kind of start sneaking around and learn the data. Because once you start understanding the data and the statistics behind this whole thing, you can use it to your advantage, okay? Why am I going to start pushing advertisements? You know, if I'm going to run a YouTube ad, why would I run it on a Sunday? No one's listening to music on Sunday. We just talked about that. I'm not trying to like 
change the world, but if I look at my statistics and no one's listening to music on my channel on Tuesdays, but I look at everybody else's stuff and it's just like everyone else's statistics are just through the roof on Tuesday, then that means I need to balance myself out. So you got to learn where that balancing act is. So please like the video if you enjoyed some of this like material because honestly if you're at this point in the video and you don't like it then please tell me why you didn't like it in the comments but also check out the comments anyway because someone probably has a new trick or new tool this video could be already outdated before i even publish it and someone's commenting something that's just i should have mentioned but i didn't enjoy the community down below comment like subscribe notification bell you know the works love you guys peace